really fit. And then I'll sit on the floor. This will be all level because it's going to be like that. All right, we're back in the shop. Uh, if you saw the video for the giveaway, you know what I'm doing right now. I told you I was thinking about uh, cornhole boards. So I went out to uh, Big Orange and got a bunch of, uh, they have this pine plywood there. It's like 30 bucks a sheet. It's actually pretty decent stuff for something like this. Uh, there's no voids or anything in the six ply core. So I got a sheet, a couple sheets of that. I had them cut into four by four four foot by four foot squares for me to make it easier to move. I got it down here and uh, we're gonna cut up some uh, cornhole boards. I have a cool design. I've seen a ton of different designs on the internet. Some use two by fours, some use one by, some use plywood. I'm gonna build mine completely out of plywood. I'm trying to make it as light as possible. So I'm gonna do it out of plywood, three quarter inch plywood, and then I'm going to crack jig it all together with a pocket hole jig and that'll make it nice and strong. I think I'm gonna glue it too. But you'll see as we go here, it's gonna be a cool project. The big difference I'm going to have is I want cup holders. And if you've seen some of the designs online, they have cup holders in the legs. When you fold the legs down behind the cup holders down near the ground. I have an idea that I think I can make work. So you're gonna come along for the ride. Another set of legs that will fold underneath that will actually flip all the way around and come up and have cup holders in it. I haven't had a chance to write it down, but it's in my head, I think it'll work. So we're gonna test it out. First, I'm gonna start by cutting up some two foot by four foot, that's regulation size board. We have to put a six inch hole in there. I don't know if I have a six inch hole saw. Thought I had one laying around, but I haven't found it yet. Uh, if not, we'll probably use the router or the jigsaw, but I'll show you how we do it as we go. But this should be a fun video, so stay tuned and I'll show you how I did it all. So, next up I want to drill the holes for the bean bags. There's six inch holes, nine inches to the center from the top and 12 inches in from each side. So I got this little jig right here for my router, the 12 inch hole, and I'll show you how we're gonna do this. So I got this jig is the same width as the board so I can just line it up with that and it puts it right in the middle. So then what I can do is when I get the, I have a plunge cut router and what I'll do is start at the edge and plunge and then all I gotta do is go around this circle and it'll make a perfect six inch hole for me. So I got it all clamped down now. So I'll get my glasses and I'll show you how this works. See it does a, so I do a pilot hole right there. Now what I'm gonna do is just trace that around. I'm literally just gonna use this as my guide. go. Now I'll just do one more pass and I'll finish it off with that. And there you go. Perfect six inch hole. Just sand that down and then I'll just take this off and I'll do it on all the other boards. So it has to be four inches off the ground technically for regulation in the front edge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the side pieces at three and a quarter inches, just shy of three and a quarter inches because the board's three quarter inch thick. Um, so I got my fence set up for just shy of three and a quarter. I'm gonna need four side pieces, one on each side for both boards and then a front and back piece. So I'm gonna cut eight strips out of the piece I have here. So next up, I'm just gonna line these up, clamp them. I wanna cut them all the same length. This way I can cut off the rough end here. So I'm gonna cut, these are the side pieces, the longer ones. I'm gonna cut them all to 47 inches. Uh, the way I wanna make my board, it's not gonna be flush all the way around. I'm actually gonna inset a half inch in all directions. So the actual top will overlay like a half of an inch all the way around, which is how they do some of the professional boards. And I think it looks a little bit cleaner that way. So I'm gonna cut these down to, uh, I got enough here for two boards. That's the reason why there's four of them. So I'm gonna cut these down to 47 inches and then I'll clamp the other ones and I'll cut four of each of those too. And then I have a couple extra pieces, which are gonna be the pieces I'm gonna need for both the legs and the cup holder pieces. That's 47. Now I'll just get the rest of them cut up. And these ones are going to be 21 and a half for the front pieces.
These ones are gonna be the legs, but I'm not sure how long those are gonna be yet, so I'm gonna set these aside. So when they're all cut down, this is what you end up with. Pretty much a little rectangle box here of side pieces. And then, like I said, these are gonna be a little short by half an inch. Then these front to back pieces are gonna be inset into here about half an inch. And that's how we're gonna do it. Then the top will go on top of it and we'll screw it all up from underneath. And then obviously the legs will fit inside of here. And then inside of those legs will be another system that goes like this, which will be the cup holder system. So when you fold the legs out, that one will swing all the way around and come back up at a slight angle. And then I'll show you and we're gonna finish it off with some cup holder holes at the top to hold your bottles or cups. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start doing some uh, pocket hole screwing and then uh, we'll start putting it all together. Just slap some pocket holes in here in various places, but I like to actually measure out where I want my holes to be. And then what I'll do is I'll mark them like every six or eight inches, depending on how many I want. Like for instance, this is 21 and a half, so I'll probably want one in the middle. So I'll just mark it off wherever I want. I try to get it closer to the edges. And just make sure when you're doing this, you leave yourself enough room that you can get this, the drill bit in there and where the other pieces are gonna be. That's the one thing you wanna keep in mind. You've obviously already seen me do this before. Um, you set it up on the jig, there's my line. And that's it. And then what we'll do is we'll just move down the line, clamp it in and drill. So I'm not gonna bore you with this. And a whole bunch of drilling holes to drill. All right, so once all the holes are drilled, you see I got my side holes and then the holes that are gonna go down to the board. So now I wanna build the box. Uh, in order to do that, what I did is I marked my half inch line right here where I'm gonna inset this. We're gonna glue all these corners up. What I'm going to do is get it lined up, put a clamp across, and then what I like to do with the Craig jig is I like to clamp it down to this way I can get everything in perfect. Sometimes these will jump out of whack. Once I got it lined up, I'll just hit these screws in here. I like to put this on a low setting. You don't want to over tighten these, they'll strip them out. That's it, we'll put three screws in each one of them, and then it'll be nice and strong. And then we'll just flip it around and do the other side. That's it, now you got a box. So we'll let that dry. I'm gonna sand these edges down a little bit, and then uh, we'll attach it to the box. Yeah, I did want to do, I noticed in one of the ones they did, they put handles in the sides. So I'm actually going to cut this out with the drill bit. I got this lined up for the center. So I'm just gonna do a bunch of holes and make a little slot in here. All right, so I can show you here. These are the handles, they're all done. I gave them a quick sanding. So there's one, there's be one of those on each side. So when you pick up the box, you'll be able to just carry it like this. It'll be nice and easy. So now what I did is, as you can see, I got a carriage bolt in here. I made this template, which is the leg template. And what happens is where it sits on here, just like this. And then what that does is it's curved. The whole top here is rounded. So I rounded that over with the bandsaw. Figure out exactly where it sits right on here, which is where it's gonna stay. And then I figured out this angle down here and I cut that on the, that's 34 degrees on the saw. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this template to make the legs. Now that I know that this is 12 inches off the ground right here, I'll take this template, I'll cut two pieces of leg and then they'll bolt onto here on the carriage bolt and that'll finish the leg section. Then the next piece I did is this one, which took me a little working around. This is gonna end up being connected to here at the bottom with a nut and a wing nut, and that's actually going to be the cup holders. Uh, I'm still working on that, but it's gonna sit something like this. The idea is to get it out of the way here so that if you're throwing a bag and it comes up, it has the ability to fall over so you know it's off the board. So that was the whole part of trying to figure that out. But now this ends up being 10 degrees, I believe it was, is the angle on it. So this is all the height in it, and what's gonna happen is when this folds up, this is gonna fold around and go inside of the box too, just like the leg. So the whole system, then I gotta just build support pieces 
to go across and there'll be a piece up here with the holes for drinks. And then I'm going to do one support piece on the leg too going across to give the leg some stability. So right now, this piece I'm not working on yet. I'm going to go to the router and I'll show you how we're going to cut these legs out. Here is double sided tape. What I'm going to do is cut a piece of this off. And this is a neat way to attach these pieces. So here you can see I cut two pieces out of the plywood for this template. So now I'm going to tape it down with this being flush at the bottom here. And then what I'm going to do is my bit here has the roller on it and what will happen is it will just follow the roller and it will cut out the plywood the exact circumference of this circle right here. So then I'll get matching leg pieces cut off of this. So what I'm going to do is just stick a piece on here and then you can peel off the top section. And then carefully we're going to line this up like that. And then we'll press that down. We'll have to do one at a time. Just turn this on. Nice cut just like that. And then what you can do is just pop this off. And then once we're set up on the drill press, we'll just flip it on. I already got the smaller bit in here. So we'll just repeat that. So after the holes are all drilled out, I got some nylon washers here, which you can get at the Home Depot. Uh, they're made for whatever size uh, screw you're using. I'm gonna put one in between here I bolt this down they just give it a little bit more to slide on and then I'm just going to use some lock washers and then not tighten this down when you get a food snug it'll still slide pretty good with the nylon in it I use stainless hardware on this uh, carriage bolts but you could use anything I just I mean it's going to be outside I figured it better be safe than sorry so I'm just going to throw these back on and there's the two legs what you get there and then those will just fold in like your normal board. Now down here I got the other uh, legs and those are just going to go on here and I got these wing nuts. Uh, they're actually jing, jig nuts from uh, Rockler. I just had them laying around. They work perfect for, for this application. Let's just get tightened down like that just like that. So now I just got to put the top on uh, which is just a matter of Craig jigging this from underneath. And then what I'll do is I'm gonna build a support piece. So actually I already have it cut here. This ended up being just as I have 20 inches. So I'm gonna put that right in here and then I'll Craig jig that from underneath too. And that'll give the legs support. And it also work as a stopper right here too on these legs. So that'll be nice too. So I'll put one of those on there and then I'm gonna do two pieces for the top here. And then uh, we should be good. All right, so the support's in right here. I got the whole system in right here. Now what I want to do is I got to cut a piece for the top here, which is going to be the cup holder. And then I have this piece here, which I'm going to rip in half and I'm going to sit right around here. And that's going to be the piece that goes underneath so it stops the bottles and stuff from coming through. So I'll cut this in half because I only need about half of it. And that uh, I'm just going to cut one piece for the top here and then we're going to drill some holes in it for cup holders. So if you want to see the true form of what a shop looks like when you're in the middle of a project, this is pretty much it. All right, so I got these pieces ready. This is the top piece with the holes cut out, which I did on the uh, drill press again with my hole saw. So the nice thing about using the drill press, if you have one, is I can set that fence up for the exact width of this board. So every hole I drill will be right in the dead center of each of these pieces, which are all the same width. So it makes it nice when I have to drill the holes in all these pieces, I can just set it up on there and just all I need is the measurement this way and the hole will be dead center, so that makes it a little bit easier. So what I have is top, and now I'm going to screw this down with the Craig jig and glue it. And then I have the cross piece here somewhere. This is the piece that's going to go underneath it. What I'm going to do is screw this in here, right about there, and then that'll hold the bottles from going through. That's it. See this? There you go. Maybe a 
look at it here. So there you go. That's what the finished product is going to look like. You got the board and the cup holder. Put a cup in it. Just like that. So I'll now I'll just screw the top on, flip this upside down, I'll screw that top on, and then uh, I got some vinyl for it, I'm gonna put it on. I'll probably spray this with some coating too. Finishing touches, I'm just gonna screw down the top. I'm gonna start at one corner and square this up. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go around, I got my square here, I'm just gonna go around and check this. Cause I think this thing wants to bend on me. So what I'm gonna have to do is pull it back over while I screw it. I'll just go through and finish all these screws. So, for the next part, welcome to my spray booth. I got all the pieces set up in here. Uh, what I have is my gun. I got my spray gun here. We're gonna fire this up. I'm gonna give it a co couple coatings of this gray paint and then we'll put the vinyl on it. I can't bring you in here, it's a little messy. Boards are done. I put a couple light coats of the gray paint on them, gave it a quick sanding, they're nice and smooth. Put them back to uh, I got all the pieces here. There's only three pieces obviously. Uh, what I'm going to do now is show you, I got these vinyls. Um, that I'm going to do on the top. And uh, show you how to put this down, it's not hard at all. We're just going to peel it back and then I'll just do one of these. So let me show you how we get it started here. Flip this over. They're made a little bit bigger than the board. But we're just going to peel back the first little strip here. Just like that. And then we'll just fold that down. Like so. And then what you can do is you flip it over. Just like that. We'll kind of line it up on the sides so it's straight. I'm just going to kind of get it straight and then what we can do is roll this back and then literally just go like this and then double check it and you can pull this up a little bit which is perfect so we'll do this around the top here and that's how you start it and then what you can do is just kind of lift this up a little bit get it nice and tight and then we gradually fold this back a little bit at a time. And then what you do is take this, and you just go like this. There's a hole there, so we're gonna see that. And then what you do is just kind of do one of these, get the air bubbles out of it. And then pull a little bit more. Same thing. You wanna work it down from the middle to the outer edges. It kind of goes straight as you pull it back like this. So as long as you do it a little bit at a time. Don't go too much. And then we'll just work it all the way down. Just like that. And then what I did is I just kind of did this over the sides and that way I can trim it down. And I'll show you how we trim it. And what we have here is the hole. So what I'd like to do is go around that. And that way I know where to cut. So I have an edge to work with. First of all, you need a sharp knife. I have an X-Acto too, but I can't find it. So this is what I'm working with now. And then what you want to do is where I just did this little groove, I'm going to cut it just above it um, with a little bit of a reveal here. This is the tricky one. So I'm just following the circle that I just invented. If I had something this size circular, it'd be easier to cut with, to follow, um, but I don't. So I'm just kind of freehanding it. And you just peel it off. 
I said, as long as you got a sharp exact though. It's a circle would make it a little bit cleaner, but I was just looking to get a little edge in there. So that's that one. Do is line this up on the edges, just inside the bevel. Literally just follow this edge. As long as you got a sharp knife, you don't need a uh, a lot of pressure. And then this will just come off. Just like that. And then we'll just go around all the boards. Just like that. The straight edge and we'll just trim it off. In case you haven't figured out I'm left-handed. So this is a little more difficult for me to I switch sides. Now you get a nice little vinyl top. It's nice and smooth. Make sure the edge is down. The nice part about this is that obviously I did paint under this, but I didn't need to. And you could stain it. You could do whatever you want. It really, it's up to your choice. Um, I just wanted to do vinyl just because I know it's nice and slippery. If I did paint, I would have to do a bunch of coats and then sand it down real nice to make it smooth. Uh, same with the stain. If you do stain and poly, I mean, it's your choice. I did it with the sprayer, which you could do pretty much anything. You could even leave it plain if you wanted and just sand it down real nice. A lot of people just do that. So that's pretty much it. Let me grab the hardware and we'll put it back together. Alright, so I got all the hardware. Just going to put the carriage bolts in here. I, do, I am using nylon washers on the inside of here so it gets a nice swivel. So I'm going to put those in there. What that does is it keeps the wood from being wood on wood and it gives it a nice smooth uh, rotation with the lock washers and everything on there. So this will go on first. And this is the tricky one. I gotta slide it in here just right so that I don't lose the washers. It's a little tricky but you just take your time. Okay, lock washer. I did all these in stainless steel too, just because I know it's going to be outdoors. Just snug those down, and the next piece is all set. And what we'll do is put the next piece on, and that will go should be that way. So this one's just wood on wood, um, because it needs to be nice and tight when you tighten it down so it doesn't move. And these just slip in here. Like I said, it's not very complicated, it's just a three pieces when it's all done. And then these fit in here, and that just lays down, and you tighten those down, nice and snug, and there you go. I'll tighten these, these nuts down, and then when you want to open it, you just loosen these, and you just pull the whole thing up, just like that lock these in and you see it's nice and flush right here so it's all going to sit on the ground just right and then when you flip it over just like that and that'll sit on the floor this will be all level because it's going to be like that and that's a wrap so I'm going to do a parts list for this because I don't think anybody's done one like this yet with these cup holders built on. So if anybody's interested, it might be something that you might be able to do something like this on an old one, even if it's two by four or something, you just have to figure out what size and then just drill the holes at the bottom and make a similar kind of setup. But what I'll do is I'll leave, this is all three quarter plywood, this whole thing. So I'll do a parts list of the pieces. And then if anybody wants to build it, you can go to my website and get it. But that's it. I'm glad you could watch this. Hopefully this gives people ideas on some nice cornhole boards with some cup holders in them. A lot of you haven't subscribed to the channel, so if you, if you don't mind, it'd be great if you did. That's what keeps us going. And uh, click on the notification so you can see the next one is the next video. Um, I get a couple things coming up, so stay tuned. And uh, I'll leave everything in the link in the description below. Please subscribe, follow me on Instagram, Twitter. I'll leave everything below. And uh, I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys, take care.